Hello everyone, welcome to Inki Gyan. In this very, very exciting video of exponential equations, we'll be solving today 4 power x plus x equal to 260. So let me begin this problem by taking away x from both sides. So equation will convert 4 power x is equal to 260 minus x. Now I will write 260 minus x towards left. So 4 power x would be towards right. As we all know 4 power x is always positive. It cannot be negative, cannot be 0. So I will divide both sides by 4 power x. Now our equation will be 260 minus x times 4 power negative x equal to 1. Now I can see in bracket, in coefficient, we are having 260 minus x. In power, we are having only minus x. So what I am trying to do, I will put 260 in the power also. How? By multiplying both sides by 4 power 260. Okay, so LHS will become 260 minus x times 4 power 260 minus x equal to 4 power 260. Right? Now if you will see the coefficient and its exponent, both are same now. So if I will consider x times e raised to the power x is equal to a and I am taking lambda w function both sides then left hand side would be x only that would be equal to lambda w of a because we know that lambda w of x times e raised to the power x is equal to x okay so lhs will become directly 260 minus x until unless see e is required here but here it is 4 so i will write 4 as change of base e raised to the power ln 4. So left hand side will convert it into 260 minus x e raised to the power 260 minus x ln 4 because a power b whole power c can be written as a power b c. So it was e raised to power ln 4 whole power 260 minus x by application of this property I can take the product in the powers exponents so 4 power 260 now ln 4 is missing you can see easily I will multiply by ln 4 ln 4 now equation will be written as 260 minus x ln 4 times e raised to the power 260 minus x ln 4 equal to 4 power 260 ln 4. Now exponent, the power, the coefficient, the base, everything is matching. So I will take lambda w formula and I will write directly 260 minus x ln 4 equal to lambda w function of 4 power 260 ln 4. Okay, let me write again 260 minus x ln 4 equal to lambda w function of 4 power 260 ln 4. Now see this side only. I am not going to use direct result. I will find out using few exponential properties. I can split this 4 power 260. Let me write this one as w function of 4 power 260 ln 4. It would be w function of 
4 power. Now let me split 260 as 256 times 4. See 256 plus 4 is 260 ln 4. Now I will rearrange. I will write 4 power 4 ln 4 times 4 power 256. Then I can write 4 power 4 ln 4. See base is not matching. It is 4. So I will change this base. This base. So I can write e raised to the power ln 4 whole power 256. Done now. Now I will take the product in the exponent. So it will become 4 power 4 ln 4 times I will write this one as e raised to the power ln 4 times 256 and 256 we can write as 4 power 4 ln 4 times e raised to the power ln 4 and see it is let me put in the bracket 4 power 4. Now see coefficient and exponent is matching. That means this value will be ln 4 times 4 power 4. Now only put in the equation. So it will become 260 minus x ln 4 equal to this value ln 4 times 4 power 4. So this term will be cancelled out. 4 power 4 is 256. So 260 minus x is equal to 256. That means x is equal to 4. This is how we can conclude our result. And this lambda w application, see how much powerful this is. Now I will verify the value. Let me put x is equal to 4. So this value will be 4 power 4 plus 4, 256 plus 4, 260, which is our RHS. So that means it is true. One more question is pending. Is this the only solution for this equation? x equal to 4. Is this the only solution possible for the given exponential equation? So let me find out answer. 4 power x is equal to 260 minus x. Left hand side function is always monotonic increasing. Just I am showing you this graph. Right hand side it is line which is having y intercept 260 and it is like that. See this is y intercept this value is 260. So one function is monotonic decreasing which is in the right hand side. One function is monotonic increasing which is in the left hand side. So at most one solution is there. One solution is there. Okay. One function is increasing throughout the domain. One function is decreasing throughout the domain. So when they will intersect it will be only one point. So that point is what we have calculated using lambda w function. This is our answer and how it is uniqueness verification. This is fine. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.